Hello everyone, welcome to BR Mathematics classes. In this class, we will discuss about limit of a function. This definition limit of a function is not very easy definition. It requires some time to understand. How patients try to understand very carefully, it requires minimum 20 minutes to understand the definition of a limit of a function. Initially, we will learn what are the technical terms which are required to understand limit of a function. That we will discuss first. Later on, we will enter into the definition of limit of a function. What are the technical terms? See, you must know what is this symbol. This symbol read as x approaches to a from left. Simply we say x tends to a minus. What it mean x tends to a minus means what? It means that x approaches to a from left. That is if a is a real number on the number line x approaches to a from left. More clearly if we speak x approaches to a from left means all x values are less than a and very very nearer to a. This can be understood with an example like this. x approaches to 2 minus. What it mean? Please tell what it mean. Good. x approaches to 2 minus means all x values are less than 2 and very very nearer to 2. See on the number line if we take 2 and 1 here and this is 1 this is 3 x approaches to 2 minus means all x values are approaching to 2 all x values are less than 2 and approaching to 2 from left see x tends to 2 minus means what all x values are less than 2 and very very nearer to 2 and moreover x approaches to 2 from left see what the values we can take here 1 1.9 1.99 1.9999 1.9999 1.9999 what you observe in the series of numbers all these numbers are less than 2 and if you observe further if you move further what you will get it is approaching to 2 so x tends to 2 minus means all x values are less than 2 and very very nearer to 2 see this can be expressed x tends to a minus means we can say that x will be a minus h what is this h what is this h h is very small positive quantity H is very small positive quantity. Whatever, how small you will take based on that we will get these numbers. For example, if what, we, what I can write here for this example, 2 minus H. You take H as a very small positive quantity, you will get these numbers. How small you will take that much uh, nearer to 2 you will get. So, X tends to 2 minus means what? All X values are less than 2 and very very nearer to 2 x tends to a minus means what all x values are less than a and very very nearer to a good now we will see what is x approaches to a plus what it mean x approaches to a plus means what x approaches to a plus yes can you guess what is x approaches to a plus how we will read it as x approaches to a plus means x approaching to a from right that is if we take a on the number line all x values are all x values are greater than a and very very nearer to a all x values are x approaches to a that means all x, x approaches to a from right that means all x values are greater than a and very very nearer to a this can be understood with example that same example we will take x approaches to 2 plus that means x approaches to 2 from right 
x approach is take a 2 on the number line 1 3 what it mean x approaches you observe this arrow marks x approaches to 2 what all these numbers are clearly all these numbers are greater than 2 and very very nearer to 2 what it can be it can be like this 2.01 2.001 2.001 2.001 2.0001 like that what you can observe in all these things further where it is moving all values are greater than 2 and it is approaching to 2 so what it mean extends to 2 plus x approaches to 2 plus what it mean x approaches to 2 from right see here we can write the same thing like this x is equals to a plus h what is h H is very small positive quantity. Here what I can write, what is X? X is equals to 2 plus H. How small number you will take? It will be that much nearer to 2 you will get. So, we learn two things here. What is that? X approaches to A minus and X approaches to A plus. We will call this as X approaches to A from left. And we will say that X approaches to A from right. Now, one more term is there. What it is? It is x approaches to a. x approaches to a. See, x approaches to a. There is a, you can observe, there is no plus symbol and no minus symbol here. Just x approaches to a. What it mean? x approaches to a. What it mean? It approaches to a from left or it approaches to a from right? If minus is there, we will say that x approaches to a from left. If plus is there, we will say that x approaches to a from right. If no symbol is there, what we say? Suppose, train is approaching to Bangalore station. Approaching to Bangalore station. It approaching to Bangalore station from where? It approaching to Bangalore station from Ashwantpur or from Whitefield. From where it is approaching? It may approach from anywhere. Right? So, x approaches to a means what? It means that x approaches to a from left are x approaches to a from left that means all x values will be in the neighborhood of a in the neighborhood of a x approaches to a means x approaches to a from left or x approaches to b x approaches to a from right x approaches to a it may approach from left it may approach from right however it is approaching to a that is so, right, okay, x approaches to a, I will discuss this in some example. x approaches to 2 means what? What are the x values we can take? If x approaches to 2 from left, x approaches to 2 means, x approaches to 2 from left, or it may approach from right. It's, it depends upon the question. Suppose, x approaches to 2, that means, here you will take 1, you will take 3, that means all x values will be, all x values, x approaches to 2 means x values may be less than 2 and very very nearer to 2 or x values are greater than 2 or very very nearer to 2. And how we will write this, see, as x approaches to a, it means that x lies in the interval, x in the neighborhood of what it tells you that, it tells you that as it, h is as usual, h is very small positive quantity, it tells you that x values are in the neighborhood of a x approaches to 2 means what the possible values of x x values in the neighborhood of 2 that means 2 minus h comma 2 plus h that means you take very small positive quantity h so that you will come to know this side what you will get as i said 1.9 1.99 and uh, this is 2.01 2.001 like this type of numbers we will get so x approaches to 2 means what it may approaches to 2 or it may approach us to 2 from, it may approach us to 2 from left or it may approach us to 2 from right. So while doing the problems x approaches to 2, based on the question, uh, we will take it as a cases, x approaches to 2 from left, x approaches to 2 from right, then uh, how, to, how to do that problem we will discuss. So these are the terms which are very useful to understand the definition of a limit. Like what we learn, so finally we will discuss here x approaches to a from left, x approaches to a from right, x approaches to a, but 
it may approach from left or right good here one very very important point x approaches to a means x values are slightly less than a and very very nearer to a or x value is slightly greater than a or very very nearer to a the point is here x value is not equals to a see when x approaches to a what we are saying approaches to a it is approaching to a approaching to a from where from left or right when it is approaching we cannot say x equals to a when it is x when it is x equals to a why we say approaches to a we say x equals to a i hope you got this point x approaches to a means all x values are slightly less than a are slightly greater than a but not a right so and one more point which may be it's definitely useful if you learn in function chapter it is good otherwise here definitely this point is going to be very useful what is that <coughs> see x axis y axis x axis y axis right now you see uh, this is the graph some graph some graph y is equals to f of x we will take i'll take this is a x1 value this is x2 value this is x3 value for this x1 that means when i substitute this x1 value in the function where is its functional value see its respective functional value we'll get here what is this this is f of x1 that means these are all x values and these are all y values and more or we will say that functional values will be there on y axis see what is this point this point will be x1 comma f of x1 and you take this one for this x2 where it functional value what is the y value at this point y coordinate at this point we will get from here what is this f of x2 that means see this length we know what is this length this length is x2 what is this length this length is what this length is f of x2 so what is this point this point is x2 comma f of x2 similarly if we take respect to x3 for that its functional value what is this this is f of x3 that means if we substitute x3 value in the function it gives some y value that y value will be there here so what is this this is x3 and this is f of x3 so what this point will be this point will be x3 comma f of x3 i will try to explain this with an example here i will draw the graph that that graph y is equals to x square this only on positive side only we are drawing further if we draw we will get a parabola i will take uh, its uh, x values and y values x values what is y y is here x square you take x is 1 y value 1 if you take x is 2 y value 4 if you take x is 3 y value 9 we will get right now if x is 1 what is its functional value is 1 that means this 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 length is 1 and this length is 1 maybe this is not seems to be not like that but this point will be 1 comma 1 you take 2 here x is 2 what you will get respectively its functional value what is this value will be 4 according to this function when you take x is equals to 3 what functional value we will get 9 suppose if you take x is equals to 4 what happens you will get what is its functional value what is this value this value is going to be 16 so in this video what you learn you learn the technical terms which are related to the definition of limit of a function x approaches to a from left means all x values are less than a and very very nearer to a x approaches to a plus x tends to a plus means what x tends to a plus means all x values are greater than a and very very nearer to a x tends to a means what x tends to a means x is approaches to a from left or x is approaches to a from right the same thing we can say like this x approaches to a means all x values of all x values are slightly less than a or slightly greater than a important note is x approaches to a means x is not equals to a it may be less than a or it may be greater than a and in these graphs we learn how to identify for respect to x value what is its functional value 
सो दीज आर वेरी यूजफुल थिंग्स टू अंडरस्टैंड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ लिमिट ऑफ ए फंक्शन आई होप यू फाइंड सम यूजफुल इन्फॉर्मेशन इन दिस वीडियो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फॉलो माई क्लासेस प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल हैव ए ग्रेट डे अहेड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो